feeling good, Mohammed? A few days away from the fight. Yeah, feeling great, man. Best I've ever been, fastest I've ever been. This fight means a lot to me because like, I've been training since my last fight, you know, since I won the title. And uh, I just want to go in there and perform, you know, prove to myself, see how much better I got, see what I can do, you know, what I'm capable of, and uh, finish this fight. Hi Hassan, so what have we got planned for today? Today, like every day, training hard, preparing. There is this last week, he's ready already, like 100%, but still light training we should do. Abzal? Mir Abzal. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll be in his corner? Uh, 26, yeah? 6. 25 half, 26 Mir Abzal, 27 Mir last Why did you start fighting? Uh, I don't know, but I just really loved uh, I watch UFC and always liked to fight, you know, so I wanted to compete, I loved the whole uh, combat sports of it, the whole violence of it, the whole adrenaline rush, everything about it, to be honest. Who do you fight for? Fight for myself, fight for my country, first of all, and to prove to myself of uh, I like training and then going out there and seeing what I can do and what I'm capable of so I can reach myself. What does it mean to you to represent your region? It means everything to me, man. I was one of the first Emirati fighters, you could say, to represent this country. And, uh, I wanted to put Yuri on the MMA map, but it's already there, you know. It's just like the fight capital is up above it right now. And uh, it's great. I get the opportunity to represent my country in UAE Warriors. Uh, probably one of the biggest platforms in the region, in the Middle East, and I'm going to keep representing my country to the biggest platform I can. Toughest moment of my career is obviously when I broke my, uh, stabbed my ACL and uh, got surgery on it. That was like one year out of the game. That was probably the hardest. And the greatest moment of your career so far? Greatest moment of winning the Arabian world title, obviously, from UAE Warriors. Holes in your opponent's game? Uh, everywhere. <laughs> He's going to have more holes in his game. Talk to me about some of your opponent's strengths. He's a Muay Thai fighter, I think. He's a striker. Uh, but I'm a striker too, you know. <laughs> I'm hooked. Face. I've grown so much, just becoming the champion, it helps you with a different mindset. You come in with a different mindset, you're getting ready for five, five minute rounds, which is uh, like way worse than uh, three, uh, three rounds. So that just being the champion makes you push every day more. Since I got the bout, I've been, I've been training every day. Like I haven't, I've been pushing myself to the maximum. What sacrifices have you made in this camp and as a fighter overall? Sacrifices, well, I've been sacrificing my whole life, so uh, this is my time, my weekends, uh, my friends, you know, they'll be going out. Um, I'm in bed by 10 every day. Uh, foods that I like, you have to sacrifice. And that's the wrap. The last five, five minutes. For the fight, the rest, it's all easy work now. Happy with that session? Yeah, beautiful. Feeling great. I was just ready, ready to get in there. Finish this. Happy with that, coach? Best shape. 
good sessions. Easy, easy, five, five. If they give us six rounds, no problem, we can do six. What do you want to be remembered for when all is said and done at the end of your career? Uh, I don't really care what I'm remembered for. I just want to go out and prove to myself that I am, I can be the best and I will be the best. And that's my goal.